Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello and welcome to the video for what is the editor utility widget destroy actor node. So this is our destroy actor node and it should be pretty simple. It's going to destroy any actor we pass into it and then return back if it was true or false, successful or not. Now note it does require the editor scripting utilities plugin to be enabled. If it's not, well then it's not going to work. Now let's go ahead and look at our example here. And there's a couple things to note. So we're going to select an actor and let's select, for example, this one here. And then if we were to destroy actor, well, it's gone, just like we expected it. Our node's really simple. I'm grabbing a simple level actors, getting my first one and calling destroy actor. You can, of course, do whatever you'd like with that. And it's going to return back true or false. In this case, you can see if it's true or false. If we were to debug, you'll see the current output value is true because, well, we successfully deleted something. Now, the thing to note here is if we go to our undo history, which you can see here, you'll notice nothing about deleting. If I was to click on this item and delete it normally, you'll see delete actors. And the control Z can undo it. But if we were to click on an item and destroy actor using the destroy actor widget node, there's nothing in the undo history. So keep that in mind. This is a permanently destructive node. You would have to, for example, do a transaction history using the appropriate nodes to make an undo history for this if you wanted to. But if not, it is destructive without any way to undo it. And that's it. That is our basic destroy actor node. Keep in mind, if you typed in destroy actor, well, you might find a couple other items in there based on, you know, what you're trying to do. But destroy actor under level utility under editor scripting is the correct one for editor utility widgets.